crooks taking advantage of petroleum products on transit have their days numbered. This is according to the Kenya Revenue Authority, which has vowed to tighten the monitoring process of fuel products on transit in the country. Definitely we'll have an end to the diversion and dumping because all vehicles that will be lifting petroleum products will be required to install the transponders on their vehicles. If there is a deviation of, um, from the transit route or there is a depletion of the volumes of the fuel, we'll be able to arrest that person very quickly. And therefore, we see a great reduction in the diversion of transit fuel. The platform's success lies largely with a joint cargo tracking system, currently supported by the East African member countries. The tracking system gives precise location of petroleum trucks in real time. We are the first country of transit, and most of the partner states depend on Kenya to actually transit their cargo from Kenya to the other countries, such that even when there's a difference in the density, or even when there's a difference in the volumes of the product in the containers, in the tankers, it will trigger an alarm, not only to Kenya, but to all the partner states who are on the regional electronic cargo tracking uh, uh, platform. Kenya is currently struggling to maintain its status as the preferred route in the region, especially in transportation of petroleum products. Cases of tampering with petroleum products on transit have seen Kenya lose business, with countries such as Rwanda opting for the Tanzanian route, which is deemed to have cleaner fuel. Denis Sotieno, Citizen TV.